According to the medical examiner's report, Alex died of blood clots in his lungs. But with two other untimely deaths and two missing children, many couldn't help but wonder what happened to Alex. But his family says they believed it was natural this entire time. High blood pressure or anything? Or do you take medication that, that no, you need to have? No, no. Just, okay. It was a little high in my last physical, but not. Oh, okay. Like, nothing major, no medication or anything like that. Groovy. This is Alex Cox on body camera footage in July after he killed his brother-in-law, Charles Vallow, in what he called a self-defense shooting. It was the beginning of a twisted case, prompting Alex and his sister, Lori Vallow, to move to Rexburg, Idaho with her kids, JJ and Tylee. They went missing in September. And then Tammy Daybell died in October. She was the previous wife of Chad Daybell, Lori's new husband. And then Alex died in December. Okay, what is your emergency? Um, I have uh, a older male here named Alex. He's a uh, he just passed out here on the on my on my bathroom. Now, five months later, the autopsy results from the Maricopa County Medical Examiner's Office have been released. They say Alex died of natural causes due to blood clots in his lungs, a contributing factor, heart disease. In their most private conversations and in their most public statements, they've always avowed that uh, and, and asserted that Alex died from natural causes. Um, there's a history of this type of medical issues in the family. And Garrett Smith represents Garrett Smith Alex's Smith widow, is. Zulema Pastenis. Um, she misses her husband. Uh, they were in the first days of a, of a marriage and he suddenly died. So I don't know that she's ever had a chance to grieve that. But it's not just Charles's death Alex has been investigated for. Alex has also been accused of attempting to shoot his niece's ex-husband in October. He was also convicted of attacking Lori's previous husband, Joe Ryan, in Texas several years ago. His family described him as protective and loyal, but they never believed he could be a, quote, hitman. I can't help but laugh. Alex is the most laid-back person. He's been funny his whole life. Alex's mother and sister say that many people in their family have died young. It was hard to hear about Alex from the police. We didn't know he'd gotten married. We didn't know he'd moved back to Arizona. That was very hard, so it's affected every part of our family. Gilbert Police says their detectives will now go over the autopsy report, and this case is still active. Kim Powell for Arizona's Family.